Back in 1986, I was offered by Stacy Peralta to be the photographer to shoot the chin ramp in Oceanside, California. And the ramp was up for a week and I got to shoot it for several days. And it was really, uh, it was at the time, it was the state of the art ramp. So I got to shoot the Bones Brigade for in search of animal chin. Tim Payne was one of the premier ramp builders back in the 80s and is still a big, you know, skate park builder. And he built it from scratch. They trucked in all the lumber, Lance Mountain and a bunch of other people leveled off the field that was there. They had no permits or anything. They just went in and took over this field on private property. And it was funny, during uh, the filming, some guy from the city showed up and he said, what are you guys doing? And there's this, there's this um, endangered snail at this, in this field and it's protected and they built this ramp in on top of it. And then the city just couldn't work fast enough to get the ramp closed down. So they just tried to get the shooting done as quickly as possible. The four guys in the hand plant photo are Lance Mountain, Stevie Caballero, Tony Hawk, and Mike McGill. You know, I shot everybody, uh, you know, by themselves skating and, and then together. And then on that particular shot, it was a spine like this. Two guys were on one side coming up and two guys were coming up on the other side. And it started out with, you know, just shooting one guy, then doubles, then triples, and then the quadruples. And then they started working on the hand plants. I was using a Nikon FM2. And w for that photo of the hand plants, I shot with a long lens from across the ramp. And, and I think it was a 80 to 200 millimeter zoom lens. But, you know, that was the basic equipment back then. We were shooting with film, and um, this particular film was Kodachrome 64, and it had, you couldn't do it in your own dark room. You had to send it to Kodak to get developed, and then you know, you'd wait a couple of days and you'd get your film back, you know, your slides back, and you'd look up at, you know, at them like that or with a magnifier, and you could tell whether they were sharp and the right exposure and everything. So you didn't get to see your picture right away. You had to wait a few days. It took about maybe two rolls, the whole, you know, just shooting on that spine to get that one photo. You know, I probably shot, you know, maybe 10 uh, tries at the quadruple hand plant. I was working for the magazine at the time, so so I didn't really have to go through anybody else. I picked the photos back then. I was the photo editor. I'm glad it's become an important photo in, in skate history. Back when I took it, you didn't think in terms of that, where this is, gonna, this is going to be a famous photo in 20 years. You were really into just the moment and, and what it meant right then. But I was pretty stoked. I mean, it's one of my favorite photos, and I think it's a pretty important piece of skateboarding history. I just happened to have a camera and took the photo.